New research shows a link between all those prevention measures we took during the pandemic and lower rates of Kawasaki disease in children. The condition's rare, but it's the number one cause of heart problems in kids. Doctors still don't know exactly what causes the disease, but now, thanks to the pandemic, we may have a few more clues. One year ago, Jessica Llewellyn, her husband and her six-month-old son had COVID. When baby David developed a rash, I went straight to the ER with no if, ands, or buts. At the time, Llewellyn said she was worried the rash was a symptom of Kawasaki disease. It wasn't bothering him, it wasn't itching, it was just there. Fortunately, it wasn't. And today, David is... Very spunky, very loving, and sweet. He's obsessed with construction trucks. Boom, boom. Kawasaki disease is the most common cause of heart disease that develops after birth in children. It creates inflammation in blood vessels and arteries. All that inflammation actually goes to the heart. Symptoms include fever, rash, red lips, and something called strawberry tongue, which is when the tongue is very bumpy and red. Kawasaki disease is a bit of a mystery, since scientists don't know exactly what causes it. Now, experts have long suspected that it could be an immune response after a viral infection. Our best guess right now is that inflammatory picture likely comes after another viral illness. Now, new research shows Kawasaki disease was less common during the pandemic. The American Heart Association attributes less Kawasaki to mask wearing, social distancing and hand washing. This is kind of exciting for me as a researcher because it maybe leads us really to know that we're down the right road. Data like this can help researchers pinpoint what exactly triggers Kawasaki in kids. If we can figure out what's the pathogen that's causing it, again, that's going to open up options for prevention, right? We could be talking at some point about a actual vaccine for Kawasaki disease. That was our Liz Crawford reporting there. Now, taking a deeper dive, early in the pandemic, doctors were watching young patients with COVID-19 develop symptoms that looked similar to Kawasaki disease. It turned out it was a different disease called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or better known as MISC. Now, it's a delayed complication after the COVID infection with things like rash, swollen hands and feet and gastrointestinal symptoms. 189 children in Florida have been diagnosed, 24 of them right here in the Bay Area. Those who have had it will have to be watched for heart problems because the inflammation can sometimes cause clots.